Hello, I'm Katie and I'm the artist for Personal Artwork and we are going to be working on part six of this tutorial. Um, we've done all of the face fur now, um, so I'm just going to be working on her ears um, and hopefully getting um, this portrait almost finished today. Um, in part seven, I will be finishing off the portrait and just adding those finer details um, that really make it look really realistic at the end. Um, so this, this part is mainly just to focus on her ears. I'm going to be showing you the technique that I use in just getting some of this ear done. Um, and then I'm going to speed up the rest of the video just to, to show you how I finish um, the rest of her ears and obviously get the other ear in here. Um, as you can see from the photograph to the left, um, there isn't a great deal of detail in here. Um, it is very dark. Um, so we're just going to pick out some of the details in that. Um, but as you'll see from, from the video, um, there isn't a, a great deal. So it'll just be a few little reflections in that area. Now I'm going to be starting on this part here now. So I'm just going to show you the technique that I use. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see the area that I'm working on. So we're going to be working on this part. And what we need to do is basically pick out those lighter parts of her, of her ears. I'm going to zoom in on the photo to the left. And you can see the lightest part. I'm just covering this part with a piece of paper just so it doesn't smudge. Now we can see that the lightest parts are here. I have started it off already with um, just a, a pencil sketch just to show me the areas of where the, the darkest and lightest areas are. Um, but obviously I can um, I can edit that as I go along, as I have done on the other parts. So I'm just going to erase some of my, er my lines here in the areas that I'm working on, just because I don't want these graphite pencil marks. And I'm just using the Tombow eraser. There we are. So I'm just starting with the lightest cold grey because the, the colours in her ears are quite cold colours. Um, we've got a lot of warmer colours in her face, facial fur and we're going to contrast that with the, with the cold colours in her ears. And you can see a lot of colder colours in the, the top of her head as well. So I'm just picking out those lightest areas and just getting a layer on. You don't need a sharp pencil for this part. So it's just picking up those lightest areas. You don't have to be too specific. It's just getting a layer on. So we can start filling the tooth of the paper. There. We've got a little bit there and, and it comes down here, it's quite light. So I'm just going to rub this out a little bit more. We've got quite a lot of graphite on here. Now, with a slightly darker grey, I'm just going to mark where I want the darkest areas to stop. So almost taking out your graphite and marking out with your coloured pencil where you want those darkest areas because there's quite a lot of black in here. Now on the photo it looks like there is a warm reflection here but it is I think just a blur on the photo so I'm just going to edit that with the with the drawing. So we're just doing nice long strokes now and we're just going to build up this colour because it, it swoops round this curl. So we're just using nice long strokes and just picking out those lighter areas. So we're just going to build up the colour. Now I'm going to concentrate just on one area at a time. So I'm just going to concentrate on this little flick that she has in the top. 
with the ears, what I like to do is do it in sections. So I'll pick out one area that I want to do first and get that done and then go on to the next part. So again, nice long strokes. So it's completely different to the facial fur, which is smaller and more textured. At first, you'll find you're, you're rubbing out quite a lot of the sketch marks. There we are. So I'm going up to the next cold grey. That's quite a jump here. So I'm just picking up the darkest areas now. And just nice long strokes. You'll see in my other videos on, on how to do um, black fur. And so it will start to make sense if you watch that video. And it's just following the shape of the fur. So it goes up around here, it curls up and then it comes around. We do do a fair bit of blending on this just because it's nice and smooth. Keep your layers nice and light. There's absolutely no need to put a great deal of pressure on. <clears throat> now, before we go for the black, we need to then work backwards. So we need to go back to the last gray that we were working with. So it's this cold gray. And this is how we're blending. And we've got this one. See how that's blending nicely. Now these are polychromos that I'm using. There we are. And then the lighter grey. And then what we need to do is with the sepia pencil, start picking out those really dark um, areas. And we need a sharp pencil for this. I'm just going to give this a sharpen very quickly. And then just take your time. Just keep looking at that reference photo and see where those darkest areas are. And you'll notice I'm going from the darkest to the lightest areas and that blends it in nicely. That comes down here a fair bit. There we are. This part's almost done. There's not a great deal of detail in this part. Just those fine little hairs. Pick them out. makes all the difference and then we're going to go in with the black there is a little bit of black in here it's mostly gray this top part and again just going from dark to light just to get that shape now we are Maybe a little bit too light in this part here, so I'm just going to use my medium cold grey and just pull from dark to light. And make sure it's got that nice curl in there. 
And I'm just going to erase this line here. I don't want that graphite, that solid graphite line to be there. And we'll start getting this nice curl in here. So I've got my cold grey again. Nice layer on there. Then we'll start working up to the darker greys. We've got a very dark area here. Let's get that in. And that swoops down. And it's quite dark in this area. And she's got a bit of hair that kind of flicks down here. So we'll get that in as well. Almost like your medium tones you're getting in now. Of course, it's very dark in here, so I'm just going to highlight that just so I know where I'm going. And then I'm going to start working on this edge here because it's very dark on this edge. Nice long strokes going from dark to light. Now this is quite time consuming. It does take quite a while, which is why I only just want to show you the technique to start with and then I'll speed up the rest for you. Nice light layers. This is all quite a medium grey here. That comes up. And then we're quite dark at the top. And then just a few odd hairs in there. That's quite dark on this edge. So I'm going to get that in. Now I'm going round like this. So I'm, I'm following the shape of the of the curl. And then it comes round here like this. That's quite a dark dark part there. Going to get some more of this lighter grey in. When you're putting on that base layer, you really don't need to. You don't need to go hard at it. Just a nice light layer, just to um, cover the paper. And you'll notice as soon as you start putting those darker, darker layers in, it will really pop. So she's got a darker part in here. Now, of course, you don't have to go with the. You don't have to go with the reference photo completely. You can make it look as realistic as you like. There. 
I'm trying to follow the reference photo as much as I can. Just to give you an idea. This is quite dark in here. And then we'll start blending in some black in there. Don't worry too much about highlights because you can, like I have done on the previous parts, you can go back in with your eraser and take some layers off if you want to. So any highlights, if there is the odd strand of hair that sticks out, like there is one here, you can just go in with your eraser and take that off. So do, do your background first and then go in with your eraser and just put that um, fine hair in and then go over it with the grey if you need to just to set it back a little bit because you'll find in the ears with a black dog there won't be any white white hairs it will just be reflection so we're getting a bit of shape here now this is quite a solid black line that comes round at the end of this this part here so I'm just going to come to here on this part just to show you. There we are. That's very dark. So like I say, I like to go in and do a different area at a time just to get uh, each part done because otherwise it gets confusing when you've got a whole ear to do it's a lot quicker just to do it one bit at a time so I'm just going to start blending now with the the lighter greys now there's only a light very light gray bit that comes up here <clears throat> so I'm just going to blend that through and we've got a darker bit here, so I'm just going to add that in. It's sort of, it's like an odd bit of fur that comes down. And let's give this bit some shape here. On your darker colours, make sure they're nice and sharp. So you can get those nice fine lines they're a bit darker up here we'll start blending this that's the other thing with doing it bit by bit. You'll find that you need to blend the last part that you were working on. Now this is maybe a little bit dark on this black area here, so I'm just gonna lift some off with the eraser just to give that bit some shape. I'm just gonna go in with the darker gray. Just start to blend that through. Right, so we're going to go with these lighter greys just to get them to blend. Nice long strokes. <clears throat> A little bit of this lighter grey in here. And then we'll go in with the darker grey.
Like I say, don't worry if it's not perfect to the photograph. It's more about getting the shape. So as long as you have that shape in there and it's nicely flowing, you'll get the realistic look. Just blend this a little bit. It makes such a difference when you've blend you when you blend it and then go over it with the finer pencil. looking much better now so I'm just going to go back over these areas here just making sure that I've got my lightest areas picked out there a tiny little bit of grey in here so I'm just going to add that in nice and light and then we'll come down and add some more grey in here because that is quite dark going from dark, the darkest areas to the light it's quite dark in here it's all just about layering get those layers in if you just go straight in with black it will not look realistic Some people may do, I personally don't think it looks as realistic. We are very dark in here so I'm just going to add a little bit of grey because when we come to put in the blacks, we can then blend, 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 blend. You'll find you'll blend a lot more with the longer fur than you do with the, the shorter fur. This is very black in here, so I'm just going to add a small part with the grey. There we are. So that's a lot of the grey areas in there now. So I'm just going to start adding some black. Then you'll notice it will start looking a lot more finished once I've added this in. So start at the top. Just picking out those darkest areas. Go slowly, you don't need to rush. And the other thing is, once you've got the black in, you'll notice your lightest areas may look too light, so you may need to just go over those, which I tend to do afterwards. So... We've got a very black area in here, so I'm just going to go in there. Let's get some shape up here. I've got a bit of a line that goes up. I'll just darken that a little bit. And then this goes from dark to light here. I'm just going to add the blacks in. You can see already there's some shape to this now. 
go from dark to light. in these blacks nice light layers you don't need to go crazy Almost there with this, and then I'll speed this up so you can see the rest of it. As you can see, I'm going with the shape of the, the fur, just coming around, nice long strokes. Start to see a bit of definition in the here now as well. make corrections as you go along, you'll notice that your sketch marks won't always be 100%. So if you, as you're going along, if you notice that, you know, that curl isn't quite that big or... Now I'm just going to get this really black area in here. And just blend it down into that grey that you've added on the last layer. Just pick out any little hairs that you see. There. So as you'll notice now that we've got the black in, there are a lot of areas that are too light, so we'll just go over those with the grey and start darkening those a little bit. Just going to add a bit more black in there because that is quite dark. in this a little bit because I haven't quite got the shape right. And then we'll just go back in and fine tune those lightest areas. 
starting to come together. This needs to be quite a bit darker here. a little bit. You can go in with a very dark grain, just very lightly. Very lightly. After all, this is, this is black fur. It's just reflecting the light, so it's just the different variations of greys that you'll see. They just don't appear black. Just gradual little changes makes a difference. So I'm just going to zoom out there so you can see. Now some of this is a little bit too defined, so I'm just going to Gently go over this with me black again, add in some more. Just darken this grey a little bit and blend it. Now you can of course add, add in your blues, which we've added in um, the top of the, the head. We can add that in at this point as well. When you're adding in your greys, you know, just build it up. Now this probably looks like too much of a curl, so I'm just going to, if that's the case, just darken it a little bit in that centre. And get those really black areas in now. There we are. Right, I'm not going to keep you for much longer on this technique because it's quite self-explanatory now. Um, I'm just going to continue on with this. Um, I'm just going to speed up the rest of the video. Um, I'll continue with uh, getting those ears done. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you do have any comments, of course, just um, drop them below on the video and I'm, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. And... Uh, Happy drawing. <laughs>